back um, with another video. So let's get started. What I'm bringing you today is a video about the fat kini. If you don't know what it is, a fat kini is a um, bikini for a fat girl or a fat woman or a plus size woman, whatever you want to call it. It's a, a bigger woman in a bikini. Now, before I jump right into the bikinis, let me tell you a little bit about my own personal story um, with just like a little bit of body confidence and a little bit of, you know, a little bit of everything, a little bit of everything. <laughs> um, if you're not interested in this and you just want to jump right to the uh, bathing suits, then go right in. <laughs> Feel free to skip over this because I'm just going to be talking just a little bit. So, um, prior to these bikinis that I'm about to show, I had not been seen in a bathing suit since okay so I went to Jamaica last year last summer and I did wear a bathing suit it was a one piece of it was cute it was one piece it was black um, but it wasn't like you know not much sex appeal there and I was sort of trying to just cover myself up like I was like you know okay I gotta go I gotta go on the beach it is Jamaica but I don't really want to show too much of the goodies <laughs> um, so yeah, I just, it wasn't anything that made me feel particularly good about myself and it wasn't anything that I felt particularly sexy in. Um, so there's that. I did, I did wear a bikini, no sorry, not a bikini, a one piece, a bathing suit last year in Jamaica. And prior to that, I had not been seen in a bathing suit since the early 2000s. <laughs> I kid you not. Um, I just wasn't there. Um, I remember taking my daughter to the pool a couple years ago and I remember wearing like a shorts and a t-shirt. I remember wearing a shorts and t-shirt and it was just something to go to the pool in. I just, I really wanted to take my daughter swimming and I wasn't gonna put on a bathing suit, <laughs> please, <laughs> please. <laughs> um, so I just wore shorts and t-shirt and that was that. Now I feel a lot more confident about myself. I mean, this was a journey and it, I'll touch on this in a later video, but it was a journey. It was not anything that happened in a year, two years, three years. I mean, we're talking a long time of me just like losing weight and, and and more than that, just growing up and getting older and, and just not having really any fucks left to give and just um, feeling a lot better about myself. And so that's what led me to this point that I am at right now. I was trying with purchasing and actually wearing out in public <laughs> these bikinis. I was not really on the whole body confidence train until very recently. Um, there, the whole online plus size community is large and it's always growing and there's so much like so many positive things out there um, but I was not really a part of that I didn't really know that it existed and when I started looking at bathing suits for this summer because I'm going to Jamaica again <laughs> um, I was like you know I feel a lot better about myself right now and I, I really don't want to just put on that black thing that I wore last year I want I feel good and I want something that shows that I feel good and not something that makes it look like I'm hiding because I'm not hiding I'm not hiding anymore <laughs> Um, so I was looking online and just like looking around and I started to see all of these beautiful, just really amazingly confident, sexy women, plus size women in bikinis. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I was floored. I couldn't believe that this was a thing. And apparently this started years ago and I was so busy being frumpy and just feeling down and just feeling bad about myself that I had no idea that all of this was going on. So when I was ready, when I started feeling better about myself, I decided, hey, like I said, I'm not going to cover myself up anymore. I'm not going to feel bad. I'm not going to be ashamed. So and I, I want to go to the beach and I want to look cute. I'm not going to wear, go to Jamaica and wear that ugly black bathing suit. And I, I mean, it wasn't ugly. It was cute, but it wasn't sexy. I'm not going to go to Jamaica and wear that frumpy bathing suit. And I'm not going to go and cover myself up in a freaking shorts and t-shirt. That's just, that's not going to happen. I'm just not going to do that. So I started looking on like Tumblr and Instagram and there were all of these beautiful women and like I said beautiful women in bikinis and I just felt you know I can do that I can do that why, why not why am I not doing that so I bought one fat bikini and I bought it from Monique C and um 
when I got it, they only the one I liked, they only had um, like a the sizing was very limited when I got there. I guess I was late to the party as usual, but the sizing was limited. And so I got like a size 14 or 12, either I don't remember which one, top, and then I got a 16. No, 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 no. I got a 14 bottom, and I knew I needed a 16, but I was just hoping that I could sort of shoehorn myself into that 14, but it didn't happen. And so I ended up having to send that one back because the bottoms were just too small. So anyway, I ended up actually going to Forever 21, or not, or going on their website. I went um, <laughs> online and I, they had a lot of cute stuff. I mean, this was like, a month ago this was earlier like not even summer like earlier into the spring in anticipation of going to the beach and, and having fun this summer <laughs> I decided hmm there's some really cute bathing suits on forever21.com so let me um just go see what it's about so I bought two of them um, and I'm about to show them right now so let's get to it the first one where I got the first one that I got Wow is this one it was this one here's the top and here is the bottom so top bottom you guys have probably seen this around instagram around tumblr because i know when i'm on instagram and tumblr everybody in there every plus size girl and their mama has this bathing suit i mean it's cute it was one of the first ones to hit the forever 21 website so everybody's got it it's extra cute um it's got like a fruit and floral kind of print it's like got a ruffle detail up front like that um it's just super cute and the bottoms are pretty or the same here are the bottoms now i purchased this let's see this is a 1x up top and then i got a 2x on the bottom um a lot of reviews on the website were saying that these are not that supportive and to be honest, it's true. They're not that supportive. But I don't have very large boobs, so it works fine for me. Um, if you need some more support, I would suggest not even buying from Forever 21 because they are cute, but they are cheap. I think these were like, this is like $30. Now the Monique C one, that was like, I mean, I, that was the truth. <laughs> that bathing suit was the truth. It was well constructed, well made, all kinds of support, thick. I mean, it was good, but Monique C, this is not. So if you think you need a lot of support, you have a lot up here, which I do not, um, I would suggest probably not even buy. <laughs> I mean, I'm just being honest. I probably wouldn't even buy from here. I haven't worn this anywhere yet, but I will. And I have a lot of beach trips planned and I'm going to Jamaica again, like I said, so I'm pretty excited to wear this. So the next one I have actually looks a lot like really similar to it. And it looks like this. And this is a halter. And so it just goes like this. I'm sorry, I'm doing a really bad job of this as usual, but it goes like this. So this is where your boobies go. And then you can tie it around your neck. Um, or I've seen some people just like tie it around. So it's more like a bandeau style than a halter, but I like the halter. Um, again, it has the same kind of cups inside like this. It's again, very stretchy, um, really cute. So this is the top. And this is the bottom. I forgot so with this one this is not a halter this is actually one that just has straps and I forgot to mention that the straps are adjustable um, so you can actually even take them off and just wear it as a no you can't take them off you can't take them off but you can crisscross them in the back so if you feel like I guess it does offer a little more support that way because if you want to crisscross them in the back you can but I like it just I wear it just as is they're cute they're low cost affordable um, like I said, they're about $30 a piece, and um, they're high-waisted, and that's all I gotta say about that. So, thanks for watching this video, and I hope if you have any questions, please, I mean, I, if I can, I will try to answer any questions about these bathing suits, because I know, especially if you don't have a Forever 21 near you, or you don't like going to the store, like me, um, it can be very, very difficult to buy a bathing suit online as a plus-size woman. It's just... I mean, it's it's really difficult. So if I'm happy, I'm extremely willing to help. If you have questions about the anything, anything, just um, leave a comment down below or email me. Thanks. Uh, it was a high low. Uh, like I said, very shapeless, sack like. Um, I didn't like it. I can't.